Yo, what is going on guys? JC here. And what I'm bringing you guys today is a tutorial on how to reskin modded items without having to repack the mod. So a lot of people have mods, MMG for, uh, for instance, which is what we're going to be doing the tutorial based on today. But MMG doesn't allow you to repack their mod, but it allows you to retexture their items. And a lot of people find that a little bit confusing. So I'm going to show you how to do this. Now, this can work for any mod essentially, as long as they allow you to retexture their models. You can't just take somebody else's model and then just retexture it and upload it as your own. It's not going to work that way. So what you're going to need to do is, for instance, like I said, we're using MMG. So I'm going to create two folders on my desktop, MMG and then JCMMG. So to get the, the config for MMG, really all you need to do is just get the class names of the items. And I'm going to show you how I get that. So we're just going to go into the open up our vanilla daisy launcher or just go to your workshop folder. This for me, this is the easiest way to get there. So come to your mods. You just type in MMG. Um, here it is. Let's click these three little dots. Open the folder. I understand. And then here's it just brings us to our workshop folder. So we're going to come in here. We're going to go into the add-ons. This is the PBO. You need PBO manager. Um, I'll have it linked below, but you should already have this. So once you double click this uh, little red box, this little red zip folder, PBO manager comes up. Uh, at this point, you can close this down. This is all you need. You're going to open this up and you're going to see a config. This is the main config of the item. This is what we need. So in this instance, uh, the config is binarized, so we need to unbinarize this. So this is why you make this this MMG folder. So I'm going to drag this. I'm so I'm right clicking, and holding my right click, drag it in, and you just basically you just want to copy it into the MMG folder. Um, if you don't, if I just drag this and I move it out, it'll break the mod, and then you'll just have to like repair your re-download the mod and all that crap. So we're gonna come into MMG. Uh, we can close this now. Actually, we're probably going to need to go back into that, but we'll just for now. So now we have a binarized file. So with Makiro's tools, which is an, another free program, you don't have to p get the paid version. There is a free uh, part of it where you can get an unbinarizing tool. So literally, this is a, it's a bin file. All I have to do is double click it. Um, we hit enter and then it spits us out a config file uh whatever we spits out a config file that now we could see the class names and this is this is what we need this is really all we need so how do we make our own config from here so this is when we can minimize this for right now uh we'll just move this off my desktop real quick we're going to come into our jc mmg and we're just going to create a new text document and we can call it whatever we want at this point because we're going to rename it so we're going to open this up. When we open this up into Notepad++, you'll see it's a dot .text. Well, we need it to be a dot .cpp. But first, we need to fill this out. So let's come over here to this. So what you're going to need, just for a basic uh, config to work, is you're going to need this top part. You can just paste this in here. You do not need this CFG mods. You, you don't need this. So what this basically does is this is what puts the little icon in the bottom of like the daisy screen, like over here where it shows what mods are loaded. You don't need this because this is going to be put into your server pack. So you, you don't need this part at all. What you need is the CFG vehicles and then this opening header. So let's copy this. We'll put this here and then you're going, you don't need all of this because this is, we're just going to do a vest. So this is just a base class. This right here is the class we're going to need. So let's come on down to right here and we're going to grab this. Let's go ahead and just hit enter, paste that. Let's uh, let's tab this just for the way it looks. And then we're going to basically close this. And like that. So this right here is all we need. So what we're going to do is we're going to file. We're going to save as into JCMMG. We're going to name it config. And we're going to change it to a C++ source file. Hit save. And as you can see now, it's a config.cpp. You can come into here and you could delete this 
random one, and now we just have a conflict. Okay. So now you're asking, what's next? So the next thing you're going to want to do is for being that I've named mine uh, JCMMG, that's what we're going to call this, this mod. So the class name up here, this is your mod name. So we're just going to name it JCMMG. We're going to keep this vest base right here. So if we come over here to this class, what you're looking for, this right here, this is not the class name. This is what it's called inside your types files. Like this, this is, I guess it is the class name, but it's for what, it's like how it's called out in, in the files and in your types and, and all of that, your admin tools. This right here is the class that it's actually inheriting. So this JPC vest that you see right here, the, the, the base class, this is what this is right here. So if we just come over to ours and we just call it J JPC under, you know, underscore vest underscore base, what we're going to need to do is we're gonna need to copy this and we actually have to call this class out. We have to define it because it'll tell you that it's undefined. So us doing that right there, the class has been defined. So now we're gonna to wanna to change this. So I'm going to change this to um, JC underscore MMG underscore test. This will be my test one. Okay, so the display name, the hidden textures, and the scope. Scope means it, if it's a scope is a, equals a two, that means it can be spawned in. If it equals a zero, it means it cannot be spawned in. And then we just basically have our hidden selection textures. These are our PAA files. It's pretty standard at this point. Um, it's just like retexturing a vanilla item. You just basically call out your three PAA files, and we have to go back into the uh, add-on builder to get that. But for the most part, this is done. It's, it's, it's done at this point. Now, if you want to change anything out of the base class, for instance, right now, um, the item size is a four by four and we want to make it a two by two. So we can grab this line of code and we can come into here and we're going to make this a, a two by two. We hit save. Now our item will only be two squares by two squares. Um, if you want to change um, the heat, ooh, excuse me, the heat insulation, how much it weighs, you can change all of that in our mod. But if you just want to keep it the way MMG has it done, and you just want to rechange the texture, you don't need to add this. You go just like that, and this is exactly it'll look. It'll it'll look. It'll be the same uh, same slots, same everything as a normal MMG vest. We're just going to change the texture of it. So how do we get the PAA file? So this is where I kind of screwed up. Uh, we're going to have to come back into our add-ons folder. Uh, let's open this back up. So this is a JPC vest. So we need to come into the data. Uh, let's come into the vests, uh, the JPC vest. And then let's just grab literally any one of these. It, it doesn't really matter at this point because we're going to reskin it. So we're going to grab this one and we're just going to drag it into here. Again, we're going to copy here, not paste. Uh, we're going to open up our Daisy tools. Let's go to our texture viewer. We're going to drag this in. There's the camo pattern. So we're going to save this as a PNG dot, you know, dot PNG file. That way we can edit it. Once that's saved, we can close her down. There is our, um, what is this? Uh, our PNG file. So now we can take this file and we can go into our favorite editor and we can make it whatever we want. So I'm going to go into an editor real quick and I'm just going to change it and then I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, so all I've done was just thrown a black and red like urban style camo uh, and I just overlaid it. Uh, you can get into depth with this, but this is how I'm just for tutorial purposes. I'm just throwing it in and just completely changing, uh, just throwing a camo pattern on. And as you can see, I've under, I've, I've changed the name to JPC vest underscore JC. So let's go back into our config. Actually, first things first, let's open up our tools again. We're going to go to image to PAA and we're going to turn this into a PAA file. Now that it's a PAA, we could actually get rid of both of these because we don't need it. And I mean, I don't need it anymore. Uh, I wouldn't get rid of the, the vest PNG file until you're done making your reskins. 
But being that we're essentially done, uh, we can just come like this. I'm going to go like this. I'm going to copy as path. We're going to come back into our config and I am going to put this right there. Right there and right there. So now I've copied the, the file pathing for my um, vest. What you want to do is you want to make sure you get rid of the C users, Game of Jay-Z, all of this. All you want is just the folder name. So we're going to get rid of that. Get rid of this and we'll get rid of this. Pretty much just like your, no like I said, like a normal retexture. This is all we need. If you're from the UK, you might need that extra little uh, backslash, but in, in the US, you don't need it. So we're going to do that. JC MMG test, the display name, we're going to say, um, this is a, whoops, this is a test uh, MMG vest. And we're going to hit save. And that's it. It's done. Now, to test this, um, what we're going to do is we're going to put this into our community offline testing tool. And I'm going to show you exactly how we're going to do that. So I'm going to open my file location real quick. Uh, we'll go to our core folder. So this is our core Daisy um, folder, like our root directory for Daisy. Um, if you don't know how to get an offline missions right here to actually test your mods, um, I have another video for that. I'll link it. But once you get that, what you need to do is you're going to need to put MMG. You're going to have to load MMG onto the server as well. Because our mod isn't a completely, you know, overwritten mod of MMG. Our mod is basically a piggyback on MMG. So you have to have MMG on the server for our mod to even work. So how do we put MMG on here? We're going to come back to our add-ons folder. Oops, wrong one. We're going to come back here to our add-ons folder. Because we have to go into our workshop folder. And then this, this at MMG folder right here. We're going to need to copy this entire thing. And we're going to copy it over into our root directory folder. Why you have to do this, I don't know because it's already like literally in our workshop, but you have to do that. So now that we have MMG loaded into the, we don't have it loaded just yet, but we have it on our folder. What we're going to do is we're going to go to publisher, I'm sorry, add on builder. Um, we're going to switch this over to our JC MMG. We're going to hit OK. And we're going to send this to my common daisy at Golden Guns add on. So, the reason why I have this at Golden Guns add on is because it's essentially if I pull up uh, this folder here with my daisy, I have an at Golden Guns. And then inside of it is just a bunch of PBOs. And this is how I test my mods. So I don't have to add it or I don't have to edit my batch file every single time. I just send a PBO to this folder. I test once I know it works, I delete it out of here. Usually um, I have a lot of shit going on. Okay. So once we've put our PBO into the add-ons folder to load it, the last thing we need to do is now we need to load at MMG. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rename this just to grab the, uh, the name of the folder. We are now going to go into our missions, our offload Shinaris, and we have to edit this batch file. Now, this is pretty much just like you would with any command line. Um, we need to load the, the mod. So at Golden Guns, we're going to put this little thing right here, and then we're going to copy this at MMG um, Military Gear. So that way it's basically loading both of these mods. We hit save and then we should be able to fire up the game and find our stuff working inside. If it doesn't work, this is where it'll throw you an error. It'll give you like your class members already defined, class members not defined. Um, it, it, this is where it'll throw you your issues. So that's why I always recommend testing in an offline server. So now that our offline mode is loaded, uh, Y is the default keybind. We can just pull up MMG stuff just to make sure it works. As you can see, here's the normal JPC vest, and then we have ours right here. And if I put this at my cursor or on the ground, I should probably do it. 
uh, it's damaged. Hold on, let me duh. Let me spawn it in. Freaking this new update kills me. Uh, MMG, grab this one, set it to a thousand, and we'll put it on our cursor. As you can see, we now have a camo vest that is done in my camo pattern. And it's pretty much that easy to do all of it. Now, again, full disclaimer, if you're doing this, make sure the mod, the original mod maker allows you to retexture their items. Um, most mods will say it on the Steam page. They allowed retextures, um, repacks, whatever the case may be. I, I wouldn't say repack their entire mod. That's kind of dumb. Just make your own mod that basically piggybacks off of theirs. Like I said, your server has to run MMG for this to work. Otherwise, this will not be. But as you can see, if we hover over it, it says this is a test MMG vest. Uh, the description is the Cry JPC blah, blah, blah. If you wanted to change what the description is, it's actually right by the game. If you wanted to change what the description says, you would come to your config. We're going to go to the original one. As you can see, the description short right here. You would basically uh, copy this from theirs, add this to yours, and then you could put whatever you wanted to say right here. So if you wanted just to say like, you know, um, sweet camo, dude, uh, you, you totally can. And then that's what it would say. And that's it. That's how you um, that's how you reskin a modded item. You just basically you need this class name right here. This is the class name that you're going off of. Keep that in mind. If we hover down, you'll notice these are the item names, but this is the class name. Notice how they all call the same class. You have to call that class name. And that's pretty much it. And that goes for any and I mean any modded item, pretty much any item in the game. Um, as long as it's not skinned through the P3D file, if they do it the traditional way, this is all you need. And that's it. So hopefully this video helped. Uh, if it did, a thumbs up would be fantastically appreciated. Um, if you have any questions, you know, leave them in the comments below. Join the Discord. I'm always willing to answer questions. I'm not going to lie to you. Sometimes the, the YouTube comments screw up and I hear it on, you know, a, two, three days later. So I would recommend joining the Discord. That way you could, uh, I'd probably get to you a little quicker. But hopefully this helped. If it did, thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll catch you guys later. Love you, bye.